Well, it's that time of day again. The stars have indeed once again aligned and we're bringing you another hot takes video. I hope you enjoy and please don't get too mad. These are not my takes, but please don't harass anyone. Hot take from Dan the Man 3213 The mobility in Black Ops 2 Zombies sucks after playing Black Ops 3 for so long. The mobility makes dodging zombies much harder to do in BO2 compared to BO3 with sliding and feels more satisfying in general. Yeah, I 100% agree. I don't think the mobility in BO2 is terrible, but yeah, the sliding in Black Ops 3 just feels so much better by comparison. I 100% agree. Willy Wonka 2905 says, We need another elemental wonder weapon based map, aka Origins, Ancient Evil, The Rise and Drag, because learning the steps is so fun. It's interesting that you only mentioned those, as we've actually had quite a few over the course of COD Zombies. We've had Zombies in Spaceland, we've had Alpha Omega, we've had Voyage of Despair, D Machine, you know, all those different maps. It's a kind of interesting that you didn't talk about those, almost as if you didn't play them. And I kind of agree, but at the same time, we've had quite a few if you think about it that I'm honestly indifferent. They could make something entirely new, like a Sliquifier or a Paralyzer, or they could go with a four step, a four elemental based wonder weapon set. It honestly doesn't bother me. I'm completely fine either way. Game Sane says Cold War Zombies is very underrated. Yeah, I 100% agree. I don't think it gets the love it deserves. I think it's easily better than World at War and maybe Black Ops 1. I mean, I play it more than BO1. Do I think it's better than BO2, 3, and 4? No, I don't think so. But it's definitely not the worst zombies game out there, and it has quite a lot of versatility, with round based and outbreak, as well as onslaught. It's a pretty good mode, and it also has fantastic mobility and progression systems. Djack792 says World War 2 Zombies was underrated. He doesn't think it's a top 5, but it deserves a lot less hate than it gets. It's definitely better than Vanguard or Advanced Warfare. I agree with that completely. You know, I don't think it's in my top 5 favourites, but it's definitely better than those two games. Although I wouldn't necessarily say it's underrated. It had one fantastic map being the Final Reich, and it had a pretty decent map being the Shadowed Throne. But the rest of the DLC season was probably the worst DLC we've ever seen in COD Zombies. You know, regardless of, you know, Treyarch. It, even worse than Vanguard, yes, that may be a hot take in and of itself, but honestly that's just how I feel. The gameplay systems were fine, but I don't think the game itself was underrated. Literally Anna, that's a nice name. Aoife should have been left after Black Ops 3 and 4, should have focused on chaos. I am kind of indifferent towards this because I don't really care about the story in COD Zombies games. At the end of the day, the story has just become so out of hand with the whole multiverse shit that it's very difficult to follow the storyline anyways. I think the storyline would have ended unsatisfactory if it ended in BO3, although then again it didn't end the best in BO4 either. Although they definitely did end on a cliffhanger just as things were getting good in Ancient Evil, but the Chaos storyline overall was just not very good, so I'm indifferent to this either way. From Mob Spider, we have Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is the best non Treyarch Zombies aside from IW. I was shocked at how much fun we had playing it together. For context, me and Mob streamed this game and still are streaming this game over on Twitch. Links in the description if you want to see it. And I would 100% agree. I think it was better than, you know, most of the non Treyarch games. It's definitely different and it's definitely a change of pace, but I think the game honestly is fun. If you turn off your brain, forget all the round based shit and just enjoy it for what it is, it's a genuinely fun game mode and I genuinely do have fun playing it. Now, when I get round to ranking all of the games from best to worst, we'll see how it compares to the other games. But as of right now, I'm enjoying myself. It's too spooky for me says that Black Ops 4 Zombies maps get way too much hate and he proceeds to defend pretty much all of them. I would agree to some extent. I think Ancient Evil and 9 are fantastic. Blood gets a bit too much hate. You know, Classified's a pretty fun map in its own regard. But aside from that, I don't have a huge amount of liking for the maps in this game. It's mainly just the systems I enjoy. Like Dead of the Night, Voyage of Despair, Alpha Omega, they're just not great in my opinion. I don't find myself playing those maps much at all. And, you know, Tag to Totem, it, it's just, I mean, it's a beautiful map, but it's just kind of average in my eyes. It's just not that good. So I would agree with half of this, as I do think some maps were definitely phenomenal. Scottish Boy 112 says that when they started bringing the Easter eggs to the forefront to tell the story of zombies, they ceased being Easter eggs altogether. I don't agree with this at all, because at the end of the day, you know, the easter eggs weren't exactly thrown in your face. Like for example, imagine playing Buried for the first time, good luck figuring out how to do that easter egg without looking up a guide or whatever. 
it's clearly not thrown in your face and it's just different kinds of easter eggs. You know, easter egg quests versus like hidden details within the map. Again, I'm fine with either and I don't think we should gatekeep what an easter egg is quote unquote supposed to be. The developers, it's entirely up to them as to how they want to introduce stuff to the games. Lima says that Revelations is better than Shadows of Evil and that Rev is a top 5 map on Black Ops 3. Now, I am the biggest Shadows of Evil fan, we all know this, and I think that Shadows of Evil and Dreisendrak, if I'm being honest, are the two most objectively perfect maps that we have ever seen in COD Zombies. I think that they're phenomenal. So, I don't think that Revelations is better than Shadows in terms of quality, if I'm being objective. However, if I am looking for a casual map to play, I'm definitely choosing Rev over Shadows. So it's definitely a 50-50 for me. In terms of saying it's objectively better, that is a hard disagree for me. But in terms of just picking a casual map to play, let's do some Rev. I'm Griff says that the Final Reich is a top 10 zombies map. Yeah, I 100% agree. It's phenomenal. Like, I love this map to bits. Whether it's the easter egg that has an easy and hard version, the boss fight which is just phenomenal, you know the wonder weapons are also pretty cool, I like the layout even if the horror vibe of World War 2 wasn't my thing, gameplay was pretty good, easter egg not too difficult but also not a walk in the park either, overall a very balanced map that not many people tried as you know involved playing something that isn't Treyarch. Landon Smith is digging his own grave with this one, he would genuinely rather play any Vanguard Zombies map over most of the BO2 Zombies maps and the only map he enjoys from BO2 more than Vanguard is Mob the Dead. Now this is quite annoying for me because I think Mob is very overrated. Definitely a really good map and one of the best that that game had to offer, but to say that it's better than Origins or Buried, we can put that to one side for a moment. You think that Buried, Origins, Nuketown, Die Rise even, Town Survival, you think they're all worse than Vanguard? Get a grip. Like, there's just no chance, I'm sorry. Dark Golden Viper is saying that Black Ops 4 isn't that bad. I 100% agree. In fact, it's probably in my top 5 best zombies games of all time, to be honest. It's actually really good. I don't understand the second part of the comment, but I would agree with that. You know, World at War is worse than Black Ops 4. It's a clunky, glitchy mess. It only has four maps, none of them being that good. It's very primitive and just not that brilliant of an experience. And when I rank all of the zombies games from worst to best, it's probably going to be in the top 5 worst. It's not a bad game, it's just that BO4 has much more to offer. Oblivion says that Infinite Warfare gets too much hate because of the last two zombies maps. I haven't played the last two maps in a hot minute. The most recent time I've played either of them was the Mephistopheles boss fight during the boss rush mode. That's literally it. Although, I would kind of agree that the game gets too much hate. The gameplay is pretty good, it has zombies in Spaceland, and Rave was also pretty good. But Shaolin Shuffle also wasn't very, very good in my opinion. It wasn't my thing, I didn't enjoy it much. So, I think only half of the maps, at best, are actually worth talking about. The others, not so much. Doomguy4791 says that Blood of the Dead is much better than Mob of the Dead. Ah, uh, let's see. I mean, it does have better high rounds, and it does have an actual boss fight, and no, I don't count breaking the cycle as a boss fight, since it's literally just a crap free-for-all match. If I wanted free-for-all, I would play multiplayer. Um, I kind of agree, but at the same time, it does some things better than Mob, but it doesn't do everything better than Mob, and I think that Mob j was definitely the more iconic one of the two, so... I guess it just depends on my mood, although I do think Mob is objectively the better map. Gamer Raid does stuff says that people just like to complain about anything that isn't round based. Yeah, I 100% agree. I think that there is merit to things that are, you know, not round based, especially since round based maps began all the way back in World at War and it was simply a passion project that was built upon. You know, obviously starting from scratch, you know, you're essentially having Nactron Toten symptoms all over again, where things start out primitive but then evolve. Imagine non-round based things progressing over the years until we get the Black Ops 3 of non-round based and all of a sudden people lose their minds and say it's the best thing ever. I just don't think it's fair to judge things before they come out. A little bit hypocritical I know because of my Modern Warfare 3 video, but still. The point remains, I was wrong, I'll admit I was wrong, I think Modern Warfare 3 is pretty good, I think Outbreak was good, and I think that people just need to put 
people just need to relax and enjoy the games for what they offer. Judgment Climax says that Black Ops 2 Origins is better than BO3 Origins in every single way. I mean, you're wrong because BO3's version had better graphics, but, you know. I could pretty much just move on, couldn't I? <laughs> Although, to be fair, I think BO3's superior movement and gameplay does definitely elevate that version. Don't get me wrong, the original does have merits. I think that the glitches with the Easter egg made it more fun to speedrun. But at the same time, like, play whichever version you want. You know, it's 2023, who gives a shit? Just play whichever version you prefer. I pre prefer the BO3 version, personally. There's nothing wrong with that. Just play whichever version you enjoy. Don't let anyone stop you. Clever Clover is taking a risk here by saying Cold War Zombies is better than Black Ops 3 in basically every regard by the looks of things. I'm going to go through one by one to see which ones I agree with. The mechanics are better. I mean, some of them, yeah, I do enjoy. But I think BO3 is overall just a very well-rounded experience. The movement's better. Yeah, I got to agree with that. Running around like the Flash is definitely satisfying. The progression is better. Again, I do kind of agree. You can get to a much higher level and you unlock more shit. And you can also upgrade the things that you unlock. The weapons are better? Not really, no. I think that the problem... The problem that people have with BO3 guns is literally made much worse in Cold War, since you can put the same exact attachments on literally every gun. The weapons are better? No. Mm. Simple maps, I mean, yeah, but BO3 also has quite a lot of simple maps, and a story that doesn't require a scholar to understand. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, but at the same time, the story in Cold War is mind-numbingly boring and cliche, so I don't agree with this. I agree with some of the points, but to say that the game is overall better than BO3... No. Cream of Cheese Soup says that Black Ops 4 is better than Black Ops 1. In terms of the zombies, yeah, I 100% agree. There's no reason to be playing Leo 1 in 2023, or indeed the modern day. And Black Ops 4 has way more to offer than that game does. Now, in terms of the overall game, I think Black Ops 1 is superior. The campaign in Black Ops 4 is S tier, I'm sure we can all agree on that. But BO1's multiplayer was definitely more fun. And the campaign in BO1, not quite as good, but definitely brilliant. Wink, wink. But the zombies, I just don't like. It's not really my thing. Like, it's very primitive. The maps aren't that good. So, I agree with this if we're talking about strictly zombies and only zombies. But Black Ops 1 is probably better overall. Braylon Williams, aka The Goat, says that 115 is overrated, also won't back down from 5, and Abracadabra from Ascension are better. Again, music is subjective, I'm not going to knock you for what you like, although I do agree with this personally. I think 115, just like the map it was featured on, is overrated and not all that great anymore. Won't Back Down's a pretty good song, I mean Eminem, you can't beat a bit in Eminem. And Abracadabra, I do really like. Again, Abracadabra's a fantastic song, not only the best in BO1, but the best in all of COD Zombies in my humble opinion. I agree with this take. And Nicola Shad says Kino being overrated doesn't make it a bad map. I mean, doesn't overrated mean it's not as good as people say it is? I mean, I kind of agree, but also Kino for me is just average. Like, it has everything that a zombies map should have, or a survival map anyways. It doesn't have an easter egg, but it has a pretty good wonder weapon, high rounds aren't too bad. It's just a, like an average, like a C or a B tier map. Like, I don't think it's awful. Like, people who say it's F tier, like, I question their sanity in the same way that I question people's sanity who put it in at the S tier. Like, it's just an okay map. I don't hate it. I don't like it. It just exists. And that's all I've got for you today. If you want more hot take videos, feel free to comment more takes down in the comment section. Likewise, if you want me to do a video where I go over some of my hot takes regarding COD Zombies, Feel free to let me know in the comment section, subscribe, all that good stuff, hit me up on Twitch for streams, all that good stuff, that'd be great, and I'll see you on the next one.